We've made it to another Friday. Happy Friday to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. This is a look at what's happening in the tropics. Less than two weeks now left in our 2023 hurricane season. We've escaped without being hit by anything for Southeast Texas. We have had several named storms, about 20 for the Atlantic, the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean, but none of them have come our way. We are still tracking one system currently rolling over portions of the Caribbean. We've got parts of Jamaica still getting some heavy rain from this eastern Cuba, Haiti and even over towards the southeastern portions of the Bahamas. So this is a potential tropical cyclone. It's basically when the hurricane hunters fly into it, they think that there's a decent chance it may develop into a tropical storm and they go ahead and start to call it potential tropical cyclone. So it's technically not a tropical cyclone just yet, but the chance for it becoming a tropical storm was very high yesterday, around 70%, but now conditions do not appear to be quite as favorable for the system to turn into a tropical storm. Of course, it would have been tropical storm Vincent. Now there's only a 30% chance for that happening. It's gotten a little bit more disorganized as it's pushed over Jamaica and some of these other Caribbean islands. So of course, when these systems move over land, that kind of tears them apart a little bit. So it's not quite as impressive looking as it was yesterday, but the bottom line, whether it becomes a tropical cyclone or not, it is still dumping a lot of rain across these areas and it will have the potential for producing more heavy rain over the next few days, especially towards Haiti, eastern parts of Cuba, starting to pull away from Jamaica, but still some of those outer rain bands will move in and it is gonna clip the southeastern portion of the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos as well. The tropical storm watch for Jamaica was just discontinued, but we do have the tropical storm watches still for eastern Cuba and you can see also towards the Turks and Caicos and for Haiti and the southeastern Bahamas as well. Here is the track. It is still forecast to briefly become a tropical storm with 40 mile per hour winds by noon tomorrow. Currently winds at 35 miles per hour and it is booking it moving to the northeast around 17 miles per hour. So it will quickly race away from those Caribbean islands over the next few days. In fact, by Sunday, it's going to be all the way up just to the east of Bermuda, likely losing tropical characteristics by then, but still with winds right around 40 miles per hour. So I don't think we'll have to worry about this system for too much longer, but over the next few days, it will continue to be a heavy rain threat for parts of the Caribbean. As far as those water temperatures, they are still pretty toasty in the Caribbean. Low 80s for west central portions of the Caribbean, low to middle 80s across the eastern Caribbean, and still fairly warm water in the southeastern Gulf. That 83 degree temperature showing up there with that buoy close to South Florida. But water temps elsewhere in the Gulf starting to cool off many spots in the 70s. So that is good news. That is a sign that maybe things are finally starting to wind down. That's usually what happens this time of the year. In the last few weeks of our hurricane season, we typically don't have much action and that is what I'm expecting. So we will have a low chance for maybe an additional system to develop. But of course, hurricane season quickly coming to a close ending on November 30th. We've been through several systems this season, seven hurricanes, 20 named storms, three major hurricanes, and there's still about a 30% chance we could have vents as a tropical storm over the next day or two, but even if vents doesn't form, it's already been an active season above normal for those named storms, hurricanes, major hurricanes, right around average, but it was still a pretty busy season. But for the second season in a row, it looks like we may be spared here across Southeast Texas. So that is some very good news. Of course, if you want to keep track of what's happening in the tropics and of course your local weather, make sure to head to the app store, search for Fox 26 and make sure to grab our Fox 26 weather app. Well, that will do it for your tropical update for this Friday. Fortunately, nothing heading towards Texas. Of course, we're entering into that big time holiday period and we don't need extra troubles from the tropics. And it looks like right now we won't have to worry about it. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. Enjoy your evening and have a great weekend.